For this reason, God gave them up to vile passions, for even their women exchanged the natural use for what is against nature. The Greek phrase para fusen, talking about lesbianism, homosexuality. Verse 27, likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust for one another, men with men committing what is shameful, and receiving in themselves the penalty of their error, which was due. So men burning in their lust for one another, that is homosexuality. So the desires for it, burning with lust for one another, and committing what is the acts themselves, which is not one flesh. Men and men cannot become one flesh. Only a man and a woman can become one flesh because two men don't have the proper equipment to do that. Now, who would ever have thought I'd have to say that? Apparently, we have to say that these days because people are confused about it. But the fact of the matter is, you don't even need to own a Bible to understand why this is wrong. What this is pointing out is that the human apostasy and falling away and turning away from God is so bad that human beings will even do this. They will even do what is against the created order itself. 